Dan gaat het de Dan gaat het de This is Taiwan. This is our Meccano Asia office. Uh, very essential for the Wei Wu Ying project, but also more projects in Asia. Um, it's very important to speak also the Chinese language, to understand each other, to communicate very well. Of course, we are also very well connected by uh, WebEx, Skype, etc. We come quite often to Taiwan. But to have people on site is very essential for this project. <laughs> Wei Wu Ying will be a performing arts center for the people of Taiwan. It has four big auditoria. One is a lyric, it's for uh, opera. One is concert hall, one is a playhouse, and the other one is the recital hall. And all together we put them underneath one roof, and where the roof touches the soil, the park, it becomes an open air theater. So imagine you're sitting here and in front of you is here the park. The shape of the building is inspired by the local banyan trees. So it has an enormous crown, a roof, in combination with the form of how the trees with the trunks make a kind of continuous form. What is, I think, unique about the building that we really try to make it tropical. Um, so there is an open space in between the four auditoria and the wind can blow in between that space. Because, if it's, because it's tropical, it's essential to protect from the rain and from the sun, but also try to catch the flow of the wind. And that's possible in this building, so it's totally open. The semi-outdoor space that we have there are all in the shade. So you can see in the summer there will be a lot of people gathering around there. They will probably uh, make a reference of the space we have there to the banyan tree in the park. I think, I think it's going to be very easy for them to see how the design, why the design was designed that way. is starting at the park level at zero at the amphitheater and then the roof goes all the way up to its highest point which is the lyric theater it's 38 meter above the floor the the roof is a three-dimensional double curved continuous shape now we are only at uh, the early layers of the total build-up because the roof will have more than 10 layers for the total build-up. And our final shape is a perfectly smooth shape. That is not the current situation. The current situation is a slightly segmented shape. So we use 3D techniques to analyze the difference between the S-built structure and the, our finishing layer designed surface. We have this perfectly smooth continuous surface and we didn't want to break that with any mechanical uh, equipment. So we made many uh, holes in the building. They are sometimes up to six to 12 meters uh, big. And we recessed them completely inside the roof surface. So in those pits, we can have air intake or air exhaust or other uh, mechanical equipment. So it is not seen from the outside of the building. outdoor theater, which is actually an amphitheater, will be for more than 2,000 people watching a show performed in the park. 
and now we are making all the structure of the seating. The biggest challenge for us was to how to materialize the Banyan Plaza because it's, it's a covered public space in a very wet climate. We had many options but at the end we contacted the shipbuilding industry of Kaohsiung, it's a harbour city. That was a great experience because they can make the shapes, they can use a material what is uh, normally made for on the water so they can handle the water. And it's robust for public outdoor space. So you can also see in the building how we are making it now is that even the detailing is, is based on a cargo ship. It's not like a yacht, what is very luxury, you know, it's really a cargo ship. So you can still see the welding lines uh, and all kind of little details what come from the shipbuilding industry. The Xianbi, the, the Gozhou, is very special. 因為這個構造它是船的構造 This is a prefabricated skin segment. The six millimeter thick skin plate is cold bended in the shipyard. At the assembly yard, all the stiffeners are added and all the hanging uh, plates to connect it to the main structure. The skin plate is now hanging in chain hoist. They are positioning it very precisely to its final location. Once it has been installed in its final position, they will weld it to all the other skin plates from the inside. This is the top of the concrete of the main structure. The final layer of the floor finish, of the Banya Plaza floor finish, will meet here exactly at the fillet and the fillet is the bottom of the skin and then from the tilting glass facade it continues with the skin all the way into the Banyan Plaza. skin surface is in principle all closed, but we made a lot of openings in it. Openings like an entrance or a window or a huge glass cut, uh, light openings, hoist points, all to add a functionality to the space. And the light points can be used for projector or ambient light at night. The hoist points can be used to hang uh, stage equipment for events, so all to, to generate uh, activity.
袂得做准的工课，啊来接这公共工程，就是要让这家己有一个成就感。啊，而且以后留一个地标，地标，让让这个下代人看。Uh, to realize the concept we had um, is of course a big challenge in such a climate. We have to deal with a lot of rainfall, so especially the rain impact noise is a big issue. So we need to isolate the roof very well so that you don't hear the rain dropping on the roof when you're inside listening to a concert. So we have many isolation layers and uh, ceramic sheets and fiber sheets to damp that noise. The other thing is the, the rainwater to get rid of it. We have many gutters. Every 18 meter of the roof, we have a gutter continuously following the entire shape of the whole roof. And those gutters are very large. They are more than 75 centimeter wide and up to 50, 60 centimeter deep. This is a very heavy spring used in the suspension rod which is used to connect the skin plate to the main structure. This bottom side is connected to the main structure and the top side is connected to the skin. And the two very large springs are used to absorb all the wind pressure on the skin surface. In a performing arts center, the acoustics have to be perfect. So we gave every Hall its own acoustics because it's totally different if it's for music or it's for theater or it's for lyric or it's even for Chinese opera. So we designed together with, with the acoustician four different auditoria with its own system of how to reflect and how to get the volume uh, for the perfect uh, acoustics. <laughs> We are now in the concert hall. The GRG ceiling is being installed. It's a very heavy ceiling. It's more than 80 kilograms per square meter. And the weight is to create very clear reflections to the audience. And we made a pattern in the ceiling, an MLS pattern, to create the most diffuse reflections. All the GRG panels are prefabricated in a factory in mainline China. The design of our ceiling, we made it modular, so we made several different panel sizes. They were made into a mold. Currently they are installing the GRG panels to the substructure. And finally all the individual panels will be seamlessly closed with a filler. The light concept is extremely important this, in this project for several reasons. First of all, it's a tropical city. It means at six or seven o'clock it's dark, so you need artificial light. It's part also of the culture of Taiwan, that they like extreme light. And it's also a performing arts center where you also use on the stages light. So we wanted to have the building very much that light should be part of the experience of the building. Uh, I remember Fancy told me, especially in this city, people come here to sing, to dance, to do everything. It's not a very uh, serious and formal theater. We have to think about the plaza. We have to think about the people who are not entering the theater. So we create a space for them to have fun. So actually the whole concept is to follow where the daylight coming from. For example, there's skylight, it creates a light pool at the center, and then we have more light over there at the day, night time. 
So it's kind of continue this daytime image into the night. The chandelier was something like elements for just a position because the whole space was very smooth. And then Francine was asked us to have this chandelier and create almost like a living room. When they enter here, I want them to feel a very welcoming experience by lighting. And then they'll find their way easily and they feel they are in their living room and feel comfortable and relaxed. makes me extremely happy that now the park is finished. It's very well used. People go there already at five in the morning. And the scale of the building, although it's huge, it perfectly fits in the scale of the park. What makes it very human. I think it will work perfectly.